In this video, we're looking at Wireshark and the coloring rules that it supports so that you can cause certain frame types to stand out. Now, the coloring rules are configured by going to View and choosing Coloring Rules. And from here, you can set up additional coloring rules to the default that actually come with Wireshark. Now, most of the default rules are related to higher layer protocols, IP, TCP, and so forth, and even HTTP and SMB and so on. These rules, of course, are useful when doing higher layer protocol analysis, but when you're looking at 802.11 communications, there are no coloring rules built in for those. So if you want them, you're going to have to create them yourself. Now you can click the plus sign down here to add a new coloring rule and manually type a filter if you know it. But there are a couple of easier ways to do this. Let me show you both of them. So first of all, what you can do is use the Expression Builder to create the filter and then apply it to a coloring rule. So if you choose Expression and then scroll down until you see IEEE 802.11 and then IEEE 802.11 Wireless LAN, expand that out and do notice that there are other IEEE 802.11 as well, aggregate data, extension frame information, management frame information as well. So we're going to scroll up to the WLAN.FC type underscore subtype that we've learned about elsewhere in the actual CWNP e-learning course for the CWAP exam and it's also reported in the CWAP official study guide. So what we want to look for in this case is beacon frames. Here it is and notice that it has applied the filter here below. Now I can click on OK and then simply highlight the filter in the filter bar and press Control X to copy that or cut that to my clipboard. Now I can go to View, Coloring Rules, click the plus sign and simply paste in that filter and I'll give it a name of Beacons. And now that I've done that, I can go to Foreground choose the color that I want and click OK, go to background, choose the color that I want and click OK, and click OK again. Now notice immediately the beacon frames stand out to me in my packet capture. Let's do that method one more time with the probe request and response frames so we can see how we can do multiple frame types with the same coloring rule. So I'm going to go to the expression builder again and we'll scroll down until we find IEEE 802.11. Expand that, and then we'll go to the FC type subtype. And when you choose the probe request frame, notice below it's 0x4 down here where it's showing you what the filter will be. And the response is 0x5. Great. Let's just do the probe request and click OK. And now what I'm going to do is highlight that, press Control C, put a space here the OR operator and press control V and then a 5. And now what we can see is that we're looking for subtype 0x4 or subtype 0x5. So we're going to highlight all of that and press control X, go to view, choose coloring rules, click the plus sign to add a new rule, paste in that filter. We'll double click and let's say probe request slash or dash response. And now we can set the foreground and background. So once again we'll use yellow as our foreground like we did before and our background will be a darker blue this time. Click OK and click OK. And you can see now immediately the probe request and probe response frames stand out in a slightly different blue background. Okay so that's one way that we can do these coloring rules but there's another way we can set up a filter like this. Instead of having to go into the Expression Builder, we can go to a frame. So for example, let's say we want to make Acknowledgement Frames stand out as well. So I'll choose an Acknowledgement Frame in the top, and then down here in the Decode area, I'm going to expand the 802.11 Acknowledgement Flags section, and right here is the Type Subtype field. I'll right-click on that and choose Prepare a Filter Selected. And there you have it. There's the filter for that specific type of frame. I'll right click and cut that and go to view coloring rules, click the plus sign, 
and then paste in that filter that was much easier to locate in that way instead of having to use the expression builder. And we'll simply call this acknowledgement WLAN. Let's go ahead and give that a foreground color of white and maybe a background color of a burgundy like color. And click OK and choose OK again. And now we can see that all throughout our capture the acknowledgement frames stand out. So just that easily you can create coloring rules so that you still have all of your frames in front of you but certain types of frames stand out to you. Now I would encourage you to use consistency so that is choose your coloring rules and then use them consistently across your different Wireshark installations. So if you go to view coloring rules notice down in the lower right corner one of the options you have is to export and import. So you can set up all of your coloring rules and then export them to a file. Then you can always import them to any other Wireshark installation that you use. That way you have consistency in your coloring rules which makes it easier for you over time to get used to these colors and have them stand out to you when you're using this tool.